G'day, my name is James Flores and I'm Australia's favourite internet organist. Today I'm going to talk to you about something that you see in my videos every single time. And that of course would be the iPads, the iPads for my sheet music. And I've been given the nickname Jimmy Two Pads by the illustrious Fraser Gartrell. Now I've had a lot of questions about uh, and I've also seen a lot of questions on the internet about what do people use uh, for reading sheet music off their iPads. And the, the short answer is uh, there's an app called Fourscore for the Apple, for the Apple iPad. Uh, I'm not going to talk about any other ecosystem, I'm just going to talk about Apple. I don't know what the equivalent is on Androids. If there is a Fourscore app that is native to the Android platform, but yes, uh, you can get four score for the iPad and um, it does cost money. I tried to check how much it cost, but I've already purchased it, so it doesn't say. But uh, from memory, I think it was about uh, 30 Australian dollars. So if you go to the App Store in, uh, in your country, it might be a different, different value. But it's around about 30 Australian dollars, I think. And um, Yes, and I have two iPads. I don't have to buy two copies of Fourscore. Um, they're both linked to my iCloud account. So I simply, uh, I don't download Fourscore on the other iPad. I download this app called Q. And um, it's part of the, the um, Fourscore suite. And basically, let's see if I can show you here. So I've got uh, my main iPad here and I tap it go to the top right hand corner and we go to Q right and that will automatically pick up my other iPad and it's currently set to draw page mode there's other modes in there which I have no idea what they do but with draw page mode uh, my second iPad automatically becomes the second page and if I turn the page it turns um, both of them just like a book uh, it's as simple as that to use two iPads to use sheet music. And I highly recommend Fourscore. Don't just use the Photos app and scroll up. That's just, that's just, not, that's just not convenient. Um, I used Fourscore in the past um, on a very, you know, a very early version on a very earlier iPad. And of course the iPads back then, the screen resolution wasn't very good. Um, so it wasn't a very good experience. But these days, uh, the, this is just the basic iPad. This is the eighth generation iPad and it does everything I need to do. I just use this for, for sheet music. And um, what else? Yes, you, d you don't need to get an iPad Pro. Um, it's way overkill for sheet music, unless um, you're doing other things on your iPad Pro. But for sheet music, you know, the, the basic entry-level iPad is all you need. That's all I use. Uh, the only other advantage of having the iPad Pro would be you can get a slightly bigger screen. Um, but I have two iPads. I'm Jimmy Toopad. I have two iPads. So a bigger screen, I, have two page I can see two pages at once. And there is an add-on that you must get. Um, uh, I'm not sure it's in here. Oh, it's called Fourscore Pro. It's a subscription. Um, I'll see how much it costs. Oh, it's $14.99 a year, $14.99 Australian dollars. And that allows you, well, a lot of stuff. I don't know exactly what it contains. You can check it out for yourself. But the main thing is that uh, you got the face gestures, gestures, gestures. So I can turn pages with a, a wink. I, I wink with my left eye. That's why you sometimes see my face scrunched up like this when I'm trying to turn the page. And of course that requires a lot of tweaking um, and getting used to, because um, I usually scrunch up my face a lot. Uh, I've calmed down now. I've calmed down a lot from where I came from originally. You know, when you make mistakes, you're coming up to a very difficult part of the piece. Um, yeah, I set, I set up my left wink to turn pages and my right wink to turn back if I need to. Um, yeah, so it's simple as that. And for the price of an iPad Pro, you can get, you can get two, two iPads and I think it'll have a lot of money left over. So yeah, this is just two basic 
iPad um, eighth generations. I think eighth, eighth generation is the most current one. And yeah, that's where I use all my sheet music. And I mark up everything um, with my pencil. It's not an Apple pencil. Uh, I couldn't afford an Apple pencil. I just got a, a substitute third party equivalent and it works quite well. And yeah, Fourscore has a ton of features and um, for example, and you can organize them by composer, you can search, you can make set lists. It's just absolutely incredible. Um, there is a video by my friend Titus Grenier, who runs Pep Organ, who did a fantastic video about talking about the features of Fourscore. So I'll leave a link to his video down in the description, um, give you more insight into Fourscore. Yes, so that is my really ad hoc quick video on how to use, let's see if I can stand back, how to, oh, almost fell off the balcony there, how to use two iPads for um, sheet music. All right, uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye for now. Thank mm -hmm. you.